Hello YouTube, welcome to this edition of Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. I'm Ronnie Humphrey, thanks for joining us today. We're gonna to try to see if we can build an air box for this Buick today, so stay tuned. Let's see what we get done. I've got this piece of air box for the cow and I'm not sure where this came from. I think this came from our pavement asphalt days. I'm not sure even why it's hens. I tell you, uh, I'm, I can't remember. Don't know why, but we're going to see if we can zip this thing off at the hinge and that's going to be a starting point. I think I can fabricate this to make it go in. The main thing is this is already bent right here and this has been welded. So that's why I want to try to use this piece here. Uh, I don't have a way, unfortunately, right now to weld aluminum here in the shop. So we're going to try to use this piece here since it's already curved for us. So let's see if we can get this hinge part cut off. We'll start there. All right. That'll work out pretty good. I tried to start off with the grinder, but... Uh, this will work out better, so we'll file this down, and that'll be our starting point. We're going to see if we can get this base on here and uh, see what we got to work with. Whoo, I can tell you already, that is going to be super low. Oh, goodness. All right, just roughly figuring. I think if we take this box, turn around where you can see, take our cow piece and I'm actually going to put it on the bottom and I'm just going to put some temporary holes in it now and just put in with Zeus fasteners. I'm sorry, with uh, Clecos and we're just going to, I'm just going to guesstimate kind of where I know the air filter falls on the back of the car and uh, just go from there. So we're just going to kind of rough it in. But what I'm thinking is here on th this deal, is I'm gonna measure from each side back to the firewall and make sure it's square. Then I will scribe a line across the back where the uh, air box, where the air filter housing is, so we can know the distance front to back. I will also then figure out, you can see the motor's not sitting exactly square in between where the housing hole is. It's going to be offset just a little, but we'll get going first and see if we can uh, just get it square, mark it, and then we'll build it one piece at a time. Hopefully, we can make this work. I really wish this car was on the lift so I could get through this a little bit easier, but we're going to try to do our best here. I'm going to square this back up first off of the firewall. It's exactly three and a half on that side. Wow, three and a half on this side. So, I'm gonna mark this back across here with the marker. That'll locate it as far as squaring it. Then we'll come back and worry about what we're gonna do on these sides here later. But let's get it one, the bottom base piece done first. We're gonna try to mark this very gingerly without moving it. Cause this thing, I'm just gonna put a real light little scribe mark there. Same thing down on this end. Now, I'm also going ahead and identify this corner here. Do the same thing on this other side. Okay. That should get us started. Okay, we're gonna get our piece back off. Oh, you can see where our marks are. So that should be fine. Now we'll go in there and drill some holes. We'll just put some uh, 
Clecos and hold it in place. Tell you, it looks pretty square. Well, it's gonna be a little bit cockeyed, but uh, that's why I want to measure off the firewall first. But let's get the uh, Clecos in. We'll go from there. All right. We'll commence to clamping now. All right. I'll give you a better look at this. Okay, you can see our marks right here that we scribed. So I'll just uh, drill one at a time. I've got these side marks just centered. So, cause I couldn't get the pin right down against it. So this, this will be right the way it is right now. Then we'll go, I may go ahead and pop rivet actually, cause I don't want to mess with the Zeus. Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, Clecos popping out. So we'll probably go ahead and just put temporary aluminum rivet in here. So that'll be fine. All right, that's one side. All right, that is solid as a rock now. There you go. So, uh, i tell you what, that's pretty square. It's a little bit off, but uh, so I want it square to the firewall. Yeah, it is definitely a little bit off but uh we may back this up square it up but uh right now i'm letting the firewall be our determining factor all right we got our piece on here like i said it, it's not square to this piece but that's okay i want to be square off the firewall and nobody's gonna be taking this off except me you can see how off it is but i'm letting the firewall determine the location because the firewall is square so uh Hey, I may have been some hot setup back in the day. Who knows? So we'll put this back on there and see if this bottom will work. We may go ahead and put a couple more rivets in here just to uh, hold it, but th th that's got it good for now. It's just for test fit. Well, let's throw this thing on here and see what it looks like from the top. Okay, first thing is it goes in, so that's good. And looking at this thing, it's gonna be a real easy way to do this is to slit this right through there and then fold this in. So we'll have to cut a little wedge out on each side, but basically we'll just split it back here, take that piece out right there, then we'll fold that side in. So we'll do that on the bandsaw and then we'll see how that looks. Okay, I have a confession to make. I went back and got to look at this the way I was going to, have to bring this in. It's hard to explain, but it's not going to be flush up against those two wings for the air box on the body. So I went back and squared this up because this is the only air box I have in existence. And I don't know where it even came from. So we're going to step back and punt here. So now it's equal on each side. And I'm only going to fold it in just this very tip out here on the very edge. Maybe like one inch is all on both sides. And that's just the way it needs to be done. Uh, it's kind of hard. I can't explain it to you without having a camera crew here. But uh, I think we're going to go back and square this up. It won't be square against the firewall. It doesn't matter. Nobody can see that but it, they can see down in the air box hole. So this has to be right. So I'm glad I thought ahead and we're gonna go by, I say we're gonna punt on this and redo this just for a second. Now it's kind of easier from the back. You can see this notch I just took out on both sides. Now, I'm probably gonna take this, unrivet this now and simply use the brake and fold this in and uh, we'll do a two-step and uh, and I've got I know since I could fold it right up to the line that I just cut so it should be pretty easy so let's see if we can drill this out we'll put it in brake see if we can uh, get this step in here we're going to use our duck bills and so I've marked that line so I know it'll be square you see how we're going to put our duck bills on here, square that line, and we'll just simply bend it in. A little trick whenever you use these, 
and you take a hammer, you need to tap it. That gives you a lot sharper bend then. All right, there's one bend. Now we're gonna kick it back that way. Mm, all right. That's what you ended up with a step now. And that'll be right up against the white portion. Now on all these holes, I'm gonna have a friend of mine come back and we're going to heliarch all these back up. So don't worry about all the existing holes in here. And we'll come back on this side now. Well, that is tough to bend back in that direction. Put it down like this. There we go. Get a little leverage on it. That's a nice step there. So you see how that looks? Now, we'll come back, and what I'll have them do is I will weld all these corners up. And man, you'll never know that it wasn't built like that, and then we'll plus we'll weld up all these holes. There's one. All right, man, you told me I look good. And you see how that step down looks there? Say, so just don't look at all those holes there. But see how that did? Now it's, it's totally boxed in. We'll weld these seams here up on both sides. I'm so glad I went back and checked this. We'll put some more rivets across the bottom. As you can see, we'll weld this up now and uh, we'll be in good shape. I put the top back on and I like the way everything fits as far as the base. Now we've got to figure out what we'll do about these transitions on each side. The first thing I'm going to do, I need to square up the back side of this top on the housing. So we're simply going to just mark. You see it's not even. I don't know what they were thinking. So I'm just going to make a mark here so I can uh, cut it back square at least. I am really struggling here on what to do, but... I tell you the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and I marked the underside of this. I'm actually gonna take this piece here totally out on both sides. That's gonna open it up and then I'll worry about the edges later. Hey, if I mess this box up, I'll just get another one. But right now, I don't like the way it's halfway covered up here. So what I'd like to do is build an air dam here to seal it off that that the hood will enclose that way it'll make it look more traditional where it box it where all the air would go into the so you don't have this hole here so all the air would go into the air box so i think we're going to try to see if we can trim this out i'm all fixing to really mess up here but uh i think we got to do, take one step at a time get this fixed then we'll have to worry about these edges and how to tie that in i just uh not sure on yet how to do that but we'll do one step at a time Then that gives us our cut line to take this piece out. Lord, I hope this works. We're gonna leave these sides on there for now. I'm just gonna cut this top out. And at least that'll open up that hole and get rid of all this waste. So we'll do this now. Carbon fiber air box, there's no telling what this thing costs. All right, we'll blow this off and put this back on there and uh, see what that looks like. Well, I like the way it looks so far. I'm glad I left this at about an eighth of an inch on there. We'll just push the hood down. Yeah, that looks a whole lot better. I know it's a little different, but at least it got rid of all that waste on each side. So the next item of business is trying to figure out how we're going to box in these sides. I think I'm going to wait and do that tomorrow, to be honest with you. So we're going to stop here, and we'll pick it up here tomorrow.